can't stop looking at those boots. <laughs> you better go inside. <laughs> Yeah, it's more of an order change. Uh, we feel Jack played exceptionally well for us last week, but uh, when you're playing against New Zealand, the 80 minutes is important, and Jack's got an incredible work rate, so we feel he's going to be enormously valuable for us the last 20. Uh, Chris can sniff a try from anywhere, and uh, to beat again, to beat New Zealand, you've got to score tries, so... He's in good form, looks sharp, so we've given him the nod to start. So delighted to be back last week. He was you know, still kind of floating around Monday when we spoke to him. What was, what was his reaction when he found out he was going to start this weekend? Uh, I've got no idea. I never tell the players when they're in, I only tell them when they're out. But I'm sure he's going to be excited. <coughs> Yeah, no, we looked at a number of possibilities, but we wanted a like-for-like -like player, and Underhill's a like-for-like -like with Curry. He's a very good player, Sam. You know, he's had a few injury issues, but this is a great opportunity for him. He's strong at the breakdown, good chop tackler, and, and certainly he'll fill the spot that Tom did so well in last week. And Moon as well, it's a great player, isn't it? And yeah. Yeah, again, more of an order change than, than anything. Uh, ben scrummaged as well last week, so we're confident he can do a good job for us. No, he's just not quite right. He's nearly there. Um, and we feel like he's going to be enormous value for us in the future. And rather than take any risks for him, uh, we're being quite conservative in his, in his management. And we feel like, like he's almost 99.9%, .9%, but he's just not quite right. So rather than risk him, we're going to wait to see if we can get him 100% right. And you hope that's what next Saturday plan? Uh, yeah, that'd be nice, yeah. But we'll worry, about, we'll worry about that next week. Yeah, look, uh, Courtney comes back. He's an he's experienced test player. He's a tough guy. Um, so it was a choice of, of bringing uh, Courtney back in who can fill lock or second row for us. Uh, Zach, uh, very disappointed, you know, made a good debut, but there's going to be more opportunities for him in the future. Yeah, he's had a few injury problems of late, hasn't played that much rugby, so we just feel for this game, he's best, he's best finishing the game for us. And the All Blacks main men's game tonight, what sort of structure is uh, Well, basically it's their strongest team. Um, good good all-round team. Yeah, we respect them greatly. Well coached by Steve Hansen. Yeah, we've got the greatest admiration for them, but we've got an opportunity to get stuck in on Saturday and that's what we're going to do. Ah, look, he's a good defensive seven, uh, and the role of a seven is is to stop the opposition getting quick ball, uh, and then on our ball to ensure that we get quick ball. So it's a pretty straightforward job. Chris Ashton's obviously a player who's not played a lot of competitive rugby, but you obviously like, like the look of him. Are you concerned about that lack of rugby, especially considered Tao as well, who only started his first game of the season last week? Well, if I was concerned, I wouldn't pick him, mate. Do you think this is the biggest challenge you've had so far as a head coach? I don't understand the question. Test match this weekend against the All Blacks. It's a test match against New Zealand. How big a statement would it be if you were to win this game this weekend, considering uh, the World Cup's less than 12 months? Well, say the World Cup. That's the World Cup there. So I've got a number of rounds before the World Cup. You can win points in, in rounds, but you can't win the World Cup. So it's of no relevance at all. Just finally, Owen Farrell, 10 now, his second week running. 
Is that a long-term vision now, you think? And if so, it's going to be quite tough for George Paul to get his way back in. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's the vision for this week. At that stage, the the game, they could be playing Spice Girls. I wouldn't know what's being played. <laughs> They're making a comeback, aren't they, Spice Girls? So maybe they could they could sing at that time. It's got no relevance to me at all, mate. I, I just said it's got no relevance to me at all. I don't understand the question. Well, whether, whether there's any technicalities of, of trying to get into that, that, right, that breakdown that is good to make sure that you're on the right side depending on the rest of the series? Uh, well, every game you play, there's an there's a, a interpretation of the tackle law. Um, and we've just got to be good enough to adjust to the referee on the day. And it's the same for both teams. Mate, you must have had a busy night last night. <laughs> hey, asking these difficult questions. Uh, look, we obviously don't want to get in that situation. Um, if we're in that situation, we've just got to stay in the fight. That's the only thing that keeps you in there. You've got to stay in there, keep doing the, the simple things well, and if you stay in there long enough, it can turn. You know, momentum's not an easy thing to turn. You're either looking for a cohesive team effort or you're looking for one individual to do a brilliant thing and, it, and that's not something you can practice.